Well, hi everyone, and welcome to another short tutorial. Um, today, I'm going to put together a tutorial on how to create solar rings or solar flares using Vegas Video. Now, this was a request by X the X Boss X. Okay. Now, I've already created a sample here to give you an idea of what they are. And as you can see on the screen, this is. Um, what I like to call the solar rings and it's just an effect that uh, creates an expanding ring that shoots outward now you could have it go in reverse direction too if you wanted but for the most part this is the effect that I used in a video called um, aliens can sing it was the background now for the purposes of this I'm actually going to use media just from Vegas video Okay, that way if you wanted to create this, you wouldn't have to hunt down a picture like I did uh, to do the same effect. What we're going to do here, we're going to start off by putting in what we call a media generator. Okay, there is um, an option here called color gradient. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you should have one that's called ellipse. Okay. Now we're actually going to put two of these in here. And I'll show you why we do that in just a second. In your uh, creation of this video, uh, to be able to do this effect, the best way to do it is to actually black out the center of the effect. Okay, So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to make the top one here transparent I go to my this is um, for editing your generated media when you click on the little film strip it pulls up your option here for your media now I'm gonna change there you may not be able to see this very well I don't think I can enlarge it okay but um, you have a couple different choices. You have number three, number two, and number one, which give you your different colors for that generated media that's on there. I'm going to click number three, and we're going to choose kind of um, an orangish color to give it uh, somewhat of a sun look to it. Okay. Now that was number three that I chose, which was the center black dot. Number one, okay that is the black area around it now we want uh, number one and number two on this top picture to be clear easiest way just go to the color bar and make it transparent we go to number two we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna make it clear as well okay now we'll go back down here to the second one and we're going to go ahead and make the center ring that orangish kind of color. Now you can make it any color you want, but you see that uh, when you change the color, it develops a little bit of uh, coloring. So you probably want it to be pretty close or uh, maybe like the yellow, uh, for example, so that it shows up a little bit better. But I'm going to make it kind of orange. Okay. Now we need to apply the effects to this here and we're going to apply the effects to the bottom track remember this top track right here is just to cut the center out of the bottom track okay so we're going to go here to our little plugin it says event effects we click on that and we're going to choose what's called lens flare we're going to add that and choose OK now we want as you see I move this here you have an effect that's going around we want this to be right in the center so zero 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 and zero 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 so it's dead center we need to create two points because this is a moving effect okay we've got our first point here on your timeline and we want to create another point at the end okay normally what you want to do is you want to wait to put the second point until you have the colors picked but for this 
example, I'm going to use white because it'll stand out better. We're going to go to the first one under lens flare. You have 35 millimeter nine elements. I like that. We're going to go ahead and use that for our first one. Then we're going to click on the second one. And you have a drop down menu here. Let's choose, uh, let's choose sunburst because that'll give us probably the best effect. And we're going to go ahead and play this now. Let's see what it looks like. There you go. There's a ring for you. Now I've got this as a pretty large picture. Okay. Um, as you can see, it's it's pretty wide. It's uh, what about five five to ten seconds. One thing you might want to do is actually shrink it up here because that way you can make your rings a little faster without having to do as much work. So we're going to shrink that in half. And let's see what happens now. See a little bit faster there. Now I've got it looping, that's why it keeps repeating there. Once you've got that effect into place, then of course you can change around the color. So uh, let's say I want the ring to be blue. Okay. On my lens flare option, I go to blue. Let's add the more tint to it. There we go. But that gives you an idea of how to do it. Keep in mind that you can change around the settings to make this look the way you want. There's a lot of stuff in there to play with, and uh, I recommend that you do that. Okay, and uh, this has been your tutorial on Sunburst. You have a great day, and enjoy. Bye-bye.